Hi, I'm Ivy from KBB205. The documentary I chose is Flood, which was filmed by Andrea Doffman in 2010. This document, this documentary is a short interactive and animated film. Um, it is about the director's conflicted body image insecurities that arise when she develops a relationship with a plastic surgeon. I'm going to introduce this documentary's mode and how it relates to the content and the filmmaker style. So what is a documentary? Patricia Afterhide gives several, several simple interpretations to it. It is not a movie or it is something that tries to teach you something. This documentary flawed is a good example that shows the importance of documentaries is thus linked to the notion of the public as a social phenomenon. This documentary draws on larger social issues including the concept of beauty, happiness, perfection, spilling self-realization and acceptance. It is conveyed in a colorful, interactive and humorous storyboard to engage viewers on the journey with the narrator. It also conveys the story in a new way, which combines time-lapse and hand-painted elements. Six types of documentary, mo documentary modes were introduced by Bill Nichols, which are expository, participated, poetic, reflexive, observational and performative mode. The traditional concept of documentary as striving to represent reality as faithfully as possible is predicated upon the released assumption that the production process must be disgraced, as was the case with direct cinema. The documentary flawed was produced as performative documentary mode with which Andrea Doffman demonstrates how the specificities of personal experience provide entry into an understanding of the more general processes at work in society. Performative documentary acknowledges the emotional and subjective aspects of documentary and presents ideas as part of a context having different meanings for different people and are often autobiographical in nature. The documentary is intensely personal and so the inclusion of Do Dorfman, at least her hands, in the piece is likewise fitting. And she tells the story by voiceover, performative films which are thus not breaking with the factual filming of filmmaking tradition but are a logical extension of the tradition's aims. As much concerned with representing reality as their predecessors, but more aware of inevitable falsification or subjectification such representation entails. However, Andrea Doffman describes Flood as a story of her own person, and she believes everyone has felt Flood at some point in their lives. It is obviously an autobiographical documentary. Doffman said she's, as a filmmaker, the strongest voice she will have by being the most honest she can be, and the, this means drawing from her own life. Flawed also is not a traditional performative mode documentary. The filmmaker was not appearing on the do on the screen, and there just contains hand painted pictures and voice over storytelling with the background music. The filmmaker performing her words by being the embodiments of their identified tastes. There is no interviews interaction in the documentary but the filmmaker uses of narrative techniques to attract viewers' eyes. Following the Nichols Mode table, Dorfman produced this documentary with her factual experience. 
personal version of storytelling on screen. Viewers can learn something from the direct expand, ex, experiential encounter, and the whole documentary relies on the filmmaker's own voice to organize the whole narration with a light background music. Flawed is typically a new extension of performative mode documentary. After Hyde stated that filmmakers choose the way they want to represent reality with the tools available to them, and they have many choices to make about each of the elements. Andrea Dorfman is an artist and filmmaker, so that she makes the unique, a new unique film style. It is a delightful combination of time-lapse photography and pixelation. Dorfman illustrates her story with the shrewd hand of an artist drawing what is in effect a series of frames that perfectly capture the open spirit of her narration. Flawed is both an exquisite tribute to the art of animation and a loving homage of storyboarding, a time-honored way of re rendering scenes while pointing the way to the dramatic arc of the tale. And also it is a new creation of performative mode documentary. The documentary viewing site page is simple and clear, and viewers can find there is an in interactive to link under the site that viewers can click on different body parts of the illustrated figure of the author. The author recounts stories about why these parts are flawed and why she embraces those flaws. This is an interesting interaction design on the site and the link about flawed simply introduces the narration of the documentary. The documentary's content is mainly about Dorfman's memory of her concern about appearance first materialize. These personal and subjective elements that succeed both semantically um, and aesthetically, allowing her to tackle an important topic female body image in the most satisfying way possible not through a self righteous script, but by relating to it personally and sharing that journey of self-discovery with viewers. Dorfman hopes everyone comes away from the film feeling that we are all flawed and through embracing our flaws we are embracing the most exceptional and extraordinary quality about about ourselves thank you for watching